Hey guys, the Richie Rich here today is a part two video of the uh, McLaren 720S. And um, so yep, uh, yeah, you realize. Oh, oh god, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. It's just breezy outside. Just a little bit. There we go. So uh, yeah, um, so it's a part two video of the McLaren 720S. So uh, I gotta see where, where I'm at because the wind is blowing. So uh, it's sunny outside, and uh, I got the shades on. I had a shower, so it was pretty, pretty refreshing. And uh, it's it's a really nice summer day outside. Um, better than the first part I did, which is like windy and all that but it is a bit windy outside but uh it's sunny as well but uh pretty good pretty good so yeah um it's a bit breezy but uh i'm gonna try to try to hold the phone because uh it with this wind pressure it just knocks it over like so all right uh let's do it so let's, let's read this so uh i was on the uh so it's a part two video Part two video. Um, I was on the 720s MSO Apex collection from 2019 to 2022. So yeah, um, let's read it. Uh, the name the name refers to to one one of the most important points on racetracks, the apex of a corner. <clears throat> this is this is the driver's <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, this is the driver's point of reference at all times in order to circle the bend on the ideal line and to be able to accelerate out yeah on the ideal line and to be and to be able to accelerate out of it out of it as early as possible based on the 720s coupe or coupe a McLaren is launching McLaren is launching a total of 15 apex collection cars in in five different designs yeah five different designs on the outside the presentation cars show either white or red uh, paintwork and thus reproduce the typical typ typical colors of curbs in the group photos when they're parked next to each other the press release leaves it open whether other points other paint colors, sorry. Uh, other paint colors are also available for the special edition. The inscription, the inscription Apex Collection, in front of the rear wheels, refer to it. Uh, air intakes, external mirrors, and the active rear wing are are the active, the active uh, rear wing are made out of visible carbon fiber. So. Uh, I, I never know at first. At first, I, I didn't know the air intakes were with, like, made with carbon fiber. But they, I, I've seen on Carwell, on like a Super, they got like an Eventuria air intake, and that was like carbon fiber, pretty much. Pretty good. Uh, the wheel arches are filled with ultralight forged ten-spoke rims. I was gonna say wheels, but rims would be a better option. Uh, and at the rear, you can find the tailpipes of the sports exhaust which comes as standard with the Apex collection. The driver and front passenger the driver and front passenger uh, sits in the the well-formed carbon uh, racing seats as the otherwise optional track pack is standard on the MSO standard on the MSO Apex collection. There's a titanium roll bar behind the seats including belt attachment points for six point harnesses which provide much more support on the racetrack. The in the infotainment system includes the MTT McLaren track telemetry system which allows drivers to keep track of their lap times. In addition, three cameras record car and both they record both car and driver uh, moments uh, well not moments sorry movements there we go to provide the most focused analysis of drives on closed drives on closed uh, circuits as possible helping to improve driver skills Sorry, missed that. yeah I had a shower so I washed my hair so it's pretty good looking fresh and I shaved as well so 
looking good. Said in, in addition, three cameras record car and driver uh, movements to provide the most focused anal analysis. Uh, yeah, analysis on drives on closed circuits as possible, hoping to improve driver skills. For the for the MSO accessory range, the Apex Collection cars receive extended extended carbon shift paddles, yeah, extended carbon fiber uh, paddle shifters, basically. So, so the paddle shifters on a steering wheel, they're made out of carbon carbon fiber, so it's lighter. And Alcantara steering wheel. Yeah, Alcantara steering wheel with contrasting, uh, t with contrasting uh, twelve o'clock uh, mark. Uh, a special accelerator pedal. Yeah, spe a special uh, gas pedal, and an MSO keycap. Uh, as soon as the doors open, you can see the carbon sills, whose inscription refers to the five different design themes. So we've got uh, we've got four versions of these Apex cars. One is in the UK, one is in Germany, one's in Belgium, and the other one is in Italy. So um, Apex UK, 110 miles an hour. The speed of 110 miles an hour is reached reached by the 720s in Silverstone's Abbey Corner. Uh, Apex Germany, 85 miles an hour. The speed of 85 miles an hour is reached by the 720s in the Mobile One corner in Hockenheim. Apex Belgium, 103 miles an hour. The speed of 103 miles an hour is reached by the 720s in Air Rogues in Spa Francorchamps. I don't know how to pronounce that, but kind of sounds a little bit of French mixed into Belgium. I don't really know. And Apex Italy, 90 miles an hour. The speed of 90 miles an hour is reached by the 720s in the Ascari chicane. Yeah, in the Ascari uh, chicane in Monza. Ascari is also uh, a car, basically, like the K the KZ1 or the KZ1, basically. That's like a British uh, uh, supercar. I might do some research in that. I don't really know, but uh, whatever I have in mind, I might be able to do some info for like any car. Yeah. The Ascari chicane in Monza. These speeds were uh, reached by Pro Factory. Yeah, these speeds were reached by Pro Factory test drivers at the apex of each of the corners mentioned. The Apex UK will be built in two left and right hand drive cars, each while the Apex Germany, Apex France, Apex uh, Belgium, and Apex Italy editions will be available in one right and two left hand drive cars each. First deliveries are expected for October. Yeah, for October in the UK, the price per unit is two hundred and eighty-eight thousand eight hundred and thirteen quid. Each owner also receives a VIP. Uh, each owner also receives a VIP pass for F1 race, including uh, access to the pad paddock, which is basically a small enclosed field. Yeah, so paddock is like another. Uh, is basically a small enclosed field. That's a shorter way of saying it. A small enclosed field. Small enclosed field. Oh. My pen dropped. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the 760, 765 LT from 2020 to 2022. Unveiled on March 3rd, 2020, the 765 LT is a limited uh, version of the 720S and a successor to the 675 LT as a super series long tail SSL car focused on track performance only. The reason, the reason why they call it 765 LT is because only 765 units were made were made worldwide. You focus on track performance. The M840T engine is now rated at 765 PS, 563 kilowatts, and 755 horsepower at 7,500 RPM, and 590 pound-feet of torque, which is 800 newton meters of torque, at 5,500 RPM achieved. With a uh, high capacity fuel pump, forged aluminum or aluminium pistons, and a three-layer, yeah, three-layer head gasket from the McLaren from the McLaren Senna, which I I like the look of that car. It looks pretty, pretty cool looking. Three layer uh, head gasket from the Senna. The top speed is lowered from the 720s's 341 kilometers an hour. Yeah, 341 kilometers an hour 
to 330 kilometers an hour. In miles an hour, that's 212 miles an hour to 205 miles an hour. Due to added drag created by the uh, created by the added high downforce parts, although the seven although the 765 LT weighs 176 pounds 80, 80 kilos uh, less than the 720s than the 720s at 2,952 pounds 1,339 kilos in its lightest lightest configuration and has a faster 0 to 100 km an hour 0 to 60 time of 2.8 seconds it also can hit 0 to 200 km an hour 0 to 124 miles an hour in 7 seconds and complete the quarter mile time of 10 seconds according to McLaren like a 10 second car basically well quarter mile time of 10 seconds is pretty pretty impressive look like I don't know how they pulled this off but McLaren You've done well for your cars. I'm proud of you guys. Congratulations. A US spec uh, McLaren uh, 765LT was tested by was tested by road and track with a quarter mile time of 11.6 seconds at 131.1 miles an hour. 131.1 miles an hour, which is 211 kilometers an hour, which equates to zero to which equates to zero to 100 kilometers an hour zero to 60 miles an hour in the high three range and zero to 200 kilometers an hour zero to 124 miles an hour in the mid 10 range in addition it stopped um, at 92 feet from 60 to zero to you know, from 60 to zero miles an hour the center's brake calipers are also available as an extra cost option McLaren claims the as McLaren claims these have four times the thermal conductivity as conventional carbon ceramics, while Pirelli Trofeo R tires are standard. Yeah, suspension changes involve a 5mm 0.2 inch reduction in ride height and the use of lightweight main springs with secondary helper units as well as an upgraded proactive chassis control system. The aerodynamics are redesigned to produce 25% more downforce than the 720S, featuring front fender vents, a larger front splitter, and a longer active wing element at the rear at the cost of less noise uh, at the cost of less noise insulation, thinner gauge glass, and stiffened engine mounts. Alright gone for almost 13 minutes this video pretty good uh, the rear of the car also features a quad exit titanium exhaust to distinguish it from the 720s production was limited to 765 cars globally with customer deliveries in October 2020 next up we've got the 720s Le Mans special edition from 2020 to 2022 it's a version of the 720S Coupe celebrating the 25th anniversary of the McLaren F1 GTR Hashtag 59's 1995 24-hour of Le Mans race win It includes choice of two colors, McLaren orange or Sarthe grey or Sarth It's spelled S-A-R-T-H-E Sarth? Sarth I think? I don't know However, however you pronounce it uh, let me know or comment below how you like pronounce it basically like Sarth Gray I think it is I don't know um, it also includes a VIN uh, starting with uh, 298 the number of laps completed by the original race car uh, Uino Gray which is U-E-N-O I think it's how it's pronounced I don't know uh, Uino Gray painted body side lower rear bumper and uh, front bumper lower yeah front bumper lower uh, McLaren 25th and 20 yeah McLaren 25th anniversary and yeah McLaren 25 anniversary Le Mans logo on lower body side panel gloss black gloss black roof scoop with polycarbonate uh, rear glazing uh, carbon fiber uh, louvered front fenders unique five spoke uh, LM wheels that's based on the design of the 59 F1 GTR wheels with Le Mans uh, etching yeah, with the Le Mans etching, uh, gold colored uh, brake calipers, gloss black contrast uh, body components, choice of uh, two black Alcantara themes with accents in the McLaren orange or dove gray, uh, carbon fiber racing seats, embroidered uh, headrests with McLaren 25th anniversary Le Mans logo, uh, 12 o'clock steering wheel marker, limited, not limited, sorry, uh, linked to interior accent color. 
uh, what else? Dedication plate with McLaren 25th anniversary Le Mans logo. Uh, and uh, floor mats with McLaren 25th anniversary Le Mans logo. The car went on sale in the car went on sale in June 17th, 2020. That was when COVID was still around, pretty much. It was it was a tough time for us at that point. Uh, next up, we got the 765LT Spider or convertible uh, from 2021 to 2022. Uh, unveiled on the 27th of July 2021, the convertible is a limited uh, version of the 765LT because only 765 units were made worldwide. It uses the same M840T engine which produces 765 PS, 563 kilowatts, and 755 horsepower. The Spider weighs 176 pounds, 80 kilos less than the 720S Spider at 3060 pounds, 1388 kilos, making it 108 pounds, 49 kilos heavier than the Cooper Coupe. Next up we've got the awards. So this is like the important part. So it so the first award it had is Top Gear. It won it won the Top Gear Supercar of the Year award in 2017. So that's pretty good. It won also the FAI Festi Festival Autom Automobile International Award, voted the most beautiful supercar of the year in 2017, the Red Dots Design Award, best of the best 2018. World Car Awards 2019, um, yeah, 2019 World Performance Car and IEEE Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Top 10 Tech Cars in 2018. The, the McLaren 720S GT3X won the uh, 2021 Goodwood Festival of Speed Hill Climb by setting by setting uh, the fastest time at the shootout. At the shootout final, sprinting up the hill in 45.41 seconds. Next up, we've got, which I think is also important, motorsports of the events that I might have entered in. Uh, we've got the 720S GT3. Uh, the McLaren 720S GT3 is a motorsport version of the 720S designed to take part in GT3 racing. I was going to say modern, but motorsport is this. But motorsport best option. So yeah, the car was revealed in August uh, 2018 with a price of 564k. $564,000. It's crazy. 564k. It's insane. Like I'll go, I would buy a house at that price. Uh, well, not really, but I, I don't know why I say that, but whatever. And McLaren said that 90% of the car was different from the road legal uh, 720S. It was originally teased through renderings in November 2017. Next we got the 720S GT GT3X yeah, GT3X edition from 2021 to 2022. In March 2021, McLaren announced the 720S GT3X, a track only uh, car based on the 7 the 720S GT3, which isn't a uh, limited 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 there we go by the restrictions put in place by the FIA for GT GT3 class cars a McLaren 720s GT3x won the 2021 Goodwood festival hill climb set the fastest time at the 2021 Goodwood festival of speeds famous hill climb timed shootout final sprinting up the hill in just 45.01 seconds so around that like 45 seconds pretty much and lastly, we have got marketing. And then I've got another video coming up, which will actually might be a good one, might be interesting. I'll tell you about it a little later. Uh, marketing, so Lego Speed, Lego Speed Champions McLaren 720S model kit, which also includes a minifigure car, yeah, minifigure car designer with design studio desk, went on sale June 2017. And that is it guys, so uh, um, this was like a pretty good like video for me to do, obviously with the British uh, supercar, which I quite love, always have, always will, like, these McLarens are like just pretty good, I mean, always have, always will be, I mean, I also like the Escort Cosworth and the Ford, the Ford Focus RS, pretty much, 
and the ST as well, pretty good. Uh, also, so, uh, yeah, so that'll be it. Let's take these off. Whew! Yeah, the Lord. Whew. Yeah, that's what happens when you wear these sunglasses. It, it like, affects your eyes a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. So that is it, guys. So uh, if you guys like this kind of McLaren video, uh, like the video, subscribe, comment below what you guys think, put a notification bell on, subscribe so you put it on all so you're alerted when I make new uploads, new videos, and, like new content and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I might be doing a YouTube, video, a YouTube video tomorrow, just because I've been like I will promise my I promised myself I would do it, but uh, I couldn't because I had like meet like meetings to go to and I uh, just don't really have time and all that like and I got like catch up sessions to be at so uh, I really didn't really have like the most amount of time to do the videos but uh it's just I've been real busy basically going to meetings and all that which is important for me um it's in college anyway so uh so yeah um if you guys like this kind of video, if you find it interesting or informative or anything like that, useful maybe, comment below what you guys think of this uh, video. Like, was it good or uh, do you want me to do like anything else? Let me know in the comments and I might be doing more. And also, I want to let you guys know that um, on the 1st of April uh, 2023, I'm not going to be here anymore because uh, the reason why is because I'm flying uh, back home to Latvia actually. So. Uh, uh, I'm gonna stay there for like a few weeks. I might be going. I might be coming back on like the 17th, I think, or 18th. I don't really know, but uh, I'm there for like a few weeks anyway. So uh, like two weeks, I guess. Um, but uh, I promise you guys, I will be back, and um, and I will do more uh, videos um, on cars. Depends on if I have the time and all that sort of stuff. Because uh, after I come back on from vacation, I'll be completely tired and um in Latvia is, in Latvia is also gonna snow which is right next to Lithuania where I was born actually I was born in uh, Banavishkus uh, Lithuania if you guys if you uh, uh I'll spell that out for you Banavishkus is a B-A-N-E uh, B-A-N-E V-I-C-I-U-S so if you try to search that up and uh and put Lithuania next to it you will find the, the place where I was born at so uh and uh I moved to the to Latvia when I was like about two three years old I don't know but I was like young and um pretty much I was young moved there um it was pretty fun and uh when I moved to the UK uh I uh I didn't really know English so uh I practiced English and I know English really 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 well so uh i mean i really miss my country and i uh, miss my grandfather as well uh he's uh yeah it's just I, like i haven't been with my grandfather for a very long time just the reason why is because he passed away on november 2020 so that was when covid was still around and uh that made me really really sad and I cried myself when I when I first heard that and, uh, so uh, uh, he's been gone for like two years and, uh, I will I might visit him like I will I'll visit his grave like I respect to him like pretty much like, I don't know I mean it's just kind of hard to lose family members you know I mean like I've lost one I don't want to lose any anyone else. I mean, I'm scared to lose my grandmother because she's like she's like 71 years old, born in uh, 1952, and I don't want to lose her. If I if I lose her, I don't know what else to like do. I would be completely sad. is watching over me from heaven so may rest in peace just to pay respect to him always have all right i'm just gonna post this so don't blow anymore and uh so yeah um 
I'll be going there on the 1st of April, um, staying there for a few weeks, and, um, so yeah, um, I don't know when else I'll be doing more videos till I come back, I don't really know, but uh, whenever I have time, I might be able to do it. Ugh, so let's see. Yeah, I got pretty good pages, like, I bought this notepad, like, see this one? I got this notepad, like, like a month ago or something. Just because my other one was full, I was I was about to finish the uh, Mustang uh, video, the RTR, but the info was so long that it was like there was not enough space for it, not enough space to like fill up to get all the info done. So what I did is I had to improvise. I bought myself a new notepad which has 320 pages actually, so it's pretty good. So I can get like more info done and I'll uh, get more car info onto it, maybe some bike info as well. Um, so yeah, um, that'll be it guys. So if you guys like this video, subscribe, comment below what you guys think, and um, comment below what other info, like car info you want me to do, like uh, like European, American, Asian, import, like, like the import domestic cars, uh, Japanese, American, German, British, uh, Italian, any other cars you guys want me to do, and maybe some bikes as well, maybe uh, Kawasaki's, uh, Honda bikes, uh, Ducati's, uh, Harley Davidson's, anything you guys want me to do, uh, Motoguzzi, I think there's like a bike called Motoguzzi, because I heard in Top Gear, like James May says Motoguzzi, which is like a motorbike, Japanese motorbike. Um, but yeah, um, whatever you guys like. Whatever you guys have in mind, let me know in the comments and I might be able to do some more information. Depends on how long they take because the infos I usually search up, they're usually like long, sometimes they're short, sometimes they're really short, like they almost got like no info on it at all. Like they have a like little bit of info, but not a lot. Like power shifting for example, I'll take that like as an example. I got I've done that video for like like that was like the shortest ever video I've ever done. Like six minutes pretty much six minutes of that video it was not really much and I also did like a little demonstration of that little uh, ledge right there uh, I did a little demonstration of what how power shifting works and all that sort of stuff pretty much known for like turbo cars basically like shifting without lifting off the uh, throttle and just you just hit the gas to the floor and just keep pushing the clutch while you're shifting and that'll get the engine like for turbo cars what that does for maximum acceleration between the gears it just keeps the engine at like full boost basically so uh if you guys like these videos so i gotta get going right now uh if you guys like these videos um uh, and by the way i also finished my chores so uh uh all good i was so it's all good for me to finish this off so uh that'll be it guys if you guys like this video uh subscribe comment below what you guys think uh put notification bell so i'm so you're alerted when i make a new upload and um uh, thank you guys for 52 subscribers. It really makes me happy. If we get to over maybe 60, 70, 80, or even 100 subscribers, it'll make me a happy man. It'll make me a happy, happy person. Like, and I'm getting up to almost 20, 25,000 views. So it's getting pretty good, very close to that amount of views. Well, so yeah, um, so yeah, I gotta get going now. Uh, I might see you guys tomorrow. I don't know, but uh, I'll find out when I got a video coming up. But, uh, and I might be doing some more gaming videos in the near future. I have no clue at all of when I will do it. Like, maybe I might do some gaming videos when I come back. I don't really know, but uh, what I have in, whatever I have in mind, I'm happy to do it. Might be able to do it, and I'll let you guys know. Maybe in the comments, or I'll record a video about that, and then uh, post it on YouTube, and you can just see the video as well. So yeah, well, so I gotta get going. If you guys like this video, like it, subscribe, comment below what you guys think, the notification bell so you're alerted when I make a new upload. And uh, if it gets to like over 100, maybe 200 subscribers, or even a thousand, make me a happy man. But for now, I gotta work hard, do more info, talk about it to you guys, and I'll see how far I can get it from there. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, and also guys, uh, uh, I might get a new tripod or something, I don't know, but uh, the reason why is because uh, one of the legs broke on my tripod, but uh, I taped it around all the legs. Whoa! Huge pressure wind. 
say the leg pretty much broke on the tripod. Um, I was gonna record a video at college, but I realized that the leg broke on the tripod. But uh, I taped all around with full tape, so uh, it pretty much like it holds it really well. But uh, I need like to put it onto a surface because it doesn't really hold it that well. Because it will sometimes just tip over when I have the phone onto it. But yeah, so uh, pretty much kind of an easy fix. So yeah. Um, I gotta get going now, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. So uh, have a really fantastic day. Have a happy day, and um, stay safe. Um, so yeah, have a great day. Stay safe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next in the next video. So take care. Stay safe. I'll 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 see you guys soon. Bye bye.